Hello and welcome back to another SQL tutorial. This is video number 27th of the series and we are learning SQL step by step. We started from some very basic uh, functionality of the language and then we are slowly moving towards the the more complex stuff and we'll go as high as we can. Now in last video we learned to use subquery for the first time. So we have a record of employees in a table that we created earlier and then we created two views on the basis of this EMP table. One was calculating the sum of salary plus commission and the other was showing nearly all columns of the EMP table as well as the maximum income or gross income of the employees that were registered in EMP table. So these two views are dependent upon the data that is provided in EMP table. In this way, we don't have to update three tables. These are dynamic objects. The, they don't store data uh, as such. They just retrieve data from this table and they process the data as and when needed. With the help of this view, we retrieve the name and details of the person who was earning maximum income in the organization because of this view the query became quite simple so we had to use one query and one subquery let me write that query once again select asterisk from emp g g cell which is the name of this view where g income is equal to and then we'll run this subquery select maximum function g income bracket close from EMP G cell okay so if you run this now you have uh, the name and details of the employee who's earning the maximum income within the organization say for example we uh, did not have this this uh, this view so let me show you another way to to retrieve the similar data same data with the help of this table and this view that we created earlier and purpose of doing that is to show you how to use a subquery as well as and operator there's an operator called and operator and operator so we want to match two conditions the query would be select because we'll have to join two two database objects so query will be select from EMP table we want to select EMP and O we want to select EMP F name from EMP table and also from EMP table last name comma is a separator and then say for example we want to ignore all other things just to save time and we want to pull this uh, gross income from G cell which is the name of a view again G cell this is a view and the name of the column that that we want to pull data is G income from EMP because there are two objects and the other object is G cell and we'll use a subway where EMP salary is equal to select maximum G income from G cell and then and condition so we want to match two conditions one is the result of this subquery whatever the amount is and the other condition is EMP EMP NO should be equal to EMP number of G cell okay so we want to match two conditions we want to match the employee number in within employee table and employee number in G cell view and we want to also retrieve the maximum income that is recorded in this in this view so two conditions run this and you have the same results you can add other columns but basically the result is same as we achieved as we retrieved from this so we ignore salary commission and department number but you can write uh, emp cell emp dot cell emp dot commission and it will give you the same results thank you very much and i'll see you again